Is that better? All right. So over spring break, which is coming up next week, I'm going to have some folks from Skia out here. I've got some grant money to look for an early Holocene component. So I'm trying to think about exactly where to put units. Unit 11 there is where um, what we call the basement unit that I did after the field school in 2017. There was material down there, nothing diagnostic. Then there was a radiocarbon date that came back middle archaic in age, which doesn't make a whole lot of sense with the stratigraphy. So I'm thinking I might expand off of that. Oh, we also have to watch. We have to watch out because there was a big backhoe trench, which is not on this map, that we put in um, when we were backhoeing. But I think we have room to expand off of Unit 11, and then maybe put a one by one over there and another one over there. But I might need to move their screen. I think their screen is sitting right where we need to be. So I have to maybe find the corners and do a little bit of planning. On where to put stuff. Okay, it is Monday, March 9th, and the search for the for more information about the deep component has begun. So we set out. I'm gonna duck under the velvet notes here. We set out three units down there: a one by one, another one by one, and a one by two going off of Unit 11. Um, so the stratigraphy took out the dirt from uh, Unit 11. You can still see the stratigraphy in the wall there. So there's whatever, 50 centimeters or so of the sand with lamellae in it, and then it gets down to that sand without lamellae, and that's what started having stuff in it, large rocks, yada, yada, yada. So no real tools from that stuff yet, and no, definitely no diagnostics. So this is the crack team from Skia here, and it's their job to work on this stuff this week. You know, we had so many problems with water filling in these things and um, destroying them, so we learned relatively quickly that I couldn't keep things open week to week and we've had such a wet winter slash spring that um, it seemed like it was going to be a fool's errand. So anyway, this is uh, funded by a USC grant that I got a while ago and cashing it in now. So I'm going to expand off of the known there and see what we find and look at some of these other areas of the site and then perhaps depending on what we find there, either expand those units or put units someplace else. Uh, right over there is where Al found a Kirk point, so we might try to get as close to that spot as possible. Um, you know, an early archaic encampment might actually be pretty small, so we're just kind of going to take some shots down here and see if we can find it, identify it, find anything diagnostic, whatever. So that's what's going on so far. Level 1's going in just to get us out of the back dirt and down into the good stuff, which it looks like they actually already are there in 18. Okay. I get to talk to the camera like an idiot. Alright, so that's 17, 18. So, level 7 of unit 18. You see the lamellae kind of disappearing in the wall there, and they are now getting into the top of the coarse sandy layer, which is what had the material in it Last time there were some little pieces of angular quartz in this, and then sitting at the bottom of this layer were some largish rocks and that sort of thing. So, uh, scraping along and seeing what's there, hopefully something. And unit 17, Tamara is down into it also. There's one rock starting to show up, and we shall see what else. It's not a it's not a metaphor like the camera actually focus. Let me know when you're ready for the action shot. <laughs> <Quite natural. clears throat> yeah, just just be cool. Everything's fine, man. Everything's fine. Balu one time. <laughs> <laughs> and the lady said something about I grabbed the receipt too quick or something. I don't even remember what it was. It was a boy, it was a boy that was like 17 or 18. And Alrighty, starting third day out here. So this is unit 18. Um, they are down below where we were finding material. Water is starting to seep in, so 
given how delicate this stuff is, the plan is that we're going to go ahead and document the east wall here just in case we have a calamity and end up losing it. So you can see up above there's still some firecrack rock and other material, really, really light density, but maybe just kind of catching the bottom of a metal archaic component. Not much in here, and all of a sudden you lose a lamellae at the bottom, and this is this kind of coarse sand deposit that has some angular quartz in it and some big rocks. Still not anything that looks like an intentionally shaped tool, but I still can't explain how those rocks got there. And the quartz all looks like it's smashed up and battered. There are some big fragments and little fragments, but it's not like a bunch of quartz cobbles. They're just kind of scattered around, so who knows. Uh, we got a radiocarbon date from down below that last time, and it came back middle archaic in age, which means one of two things. Either it's actually dating it correctly, and it is middle archaic in age all the way down there, or uh, it's a piece of charcoal that migrated down. You see another little piece in the wall right there, so I mean, it's possible. Um, roots and insects and stuff like that. Who knows? But anyway, uh, this boundary here that the sand is sitting on is really sharp. So that's easy enough to draw all the way across. It's a little bit iffier over there, actually. There it is, I think. And then the termination of the melee here. It's still mostly sand, but it's wetter, it has more silt in it, it's definitely more compact. We're starting to get these um, discolorations here. We know from the backhoe trench that went down through it now that we'll be able to actually punch through this, but I was afraid that once we punch through it, um, especially if we get more water, uh, it's going to fill up. So, we shall see. Okay, so. Careful. <laughs> Get in my unit. I just swept that floor. <laughs> uh, 19 has started, so that's level one. So there wasn't much back dirt on there. You can see the lamellae in the wall already. Um, we profiled that wall there in 18. This over here is the remains of unit 11. So I, there was a trench along that wall. It exposed a little bit more of the profile, so I just hack down through it, try to give the water a place to drain. Hopefully that's working. It's filling up, but it seems like the water over here is going down, so I think it's running in there a little bit. Uh, so my plan is to keep taking this one down um, in an exploratory kind of fashion. I have no evidence that there's anything cultural underneath here, but we know that there is sand down there, which we did not know before, so... The only way to find out if there's anything in it is to go and excavate through it. So that cap of this hard clay stuff is pretty thick. I want to say maybe 30, 40 centimeters. So that will continue. And Tamara is finishing up the last of this level. And we're going to let this one hold steady here for a while until we see whether there's a reason to go down anymore or not. But that's about the depth we got to and across the floor of 11, more or less. And then next up, we're going to put a unit out there, off-grid, but to test Al's dream. That's where the early archaic component is. And then if the water holds out, I might put one out there farther and try to see what the stratigraphy looks like out there where the top has also been removed and the elevation is lower anyway because I have no idea at this point, so who knows.
Okay, this is unit 17 at the bottom of level 10. Um, so that all looks very familiar. We are, however, getting some material. Some of these are a couple little, like, natural rounded pebbles, but there's one fairly good quartz flake, another piece of angular quartz. So who knows, you know, it could be coming, getting moved down by roots from some other place, but the fact that there's so few artifacts above it, uh, it kind of makes it hard to imagine exactly where it's getting moved down from. Um, and this stuff is pretty compact. Obviously there are intrusions, those are uh, probably old rotted root stains there. So, we shall see. Alright, Thursday, March 12th. So this uh, unit 17 is down level 11, 130-140 level. Um, well, there are a couple of pretty good. Whoops! A couple of pretty good flaky debitage-looking things yesterday, and then this is the level beneath that, and she's still getting some decent material here. None of these are really, you know, prize winners, but. Uh, they sure look like lithic debitage to me, and there's really no other explanation for them, since we know that there's not like a layer of quartz gravel down underneath it, and there's really nothing above it that it could have trickled down from in any kind of reasonable way, so I'm going to assume we are in some kind of cultural occupation. Ouch. And this is about 10 centimeters higher right now, or maybe 5. Nothing in it yet. But, yeah, if it turns out that we want to see more of that stuff, the simplest thing to do might just be to clear the rest of the back dirt out of the old Unit 11, because we've still got a ways to go, so that would, we wouldn't have to take all the overburden off to get down to it. That might be something to do to find a place to put the dirt. This is uh, 17, 18, unit 19 in progress. There you go. They're working on the railroad out there all the live long day. Doing what? I do not know. Okay, lunchtime. So nothing super spectacular, but now in these two adjacent units, that's uh, 17, 18, there's material in here. So we had one piece of like kind of fire cracked angular quartz pop out and then there's another one right there so there is an occupation or something uh, I still I still would love to see a biface or something like that that I can't kind of talk myself out of but you know it may be perhaps that radiocarbon date of middle archaic age was actually accurate and an early Holocene component is still down here to be found, because before I thought we hit the water table, but now we know that's not true. There's sand under there. So I think what I might spend the lunch break doing is getting rid of this back dirt from the old Unit 11, because then we can get down and get another look at this stuff without going all the way down through, you know, the meter of overburden to get there. Um, Doesn't look like a very fun job, but logically makes sense. Friday the thirteenth. Uh, so this this is unit 17. It got down to level 12 yesterday. They came back this morning. You can see there's a couple inches of water down there. So we have been really lucky with not having any rain this week other than a really light drizzle. So this is water that's just seeping in. So if we get lucky over the weekend, I'm thinking maybe it will go away. Uh, but we'll see. Finally, it looks like we finally had a little bit of the wall go there. That's just back dirt, though. Anyway, she said, uh, Tamara said that she got a flake even out of this level, so there is still material down there. Uh, 18 has been halted here at 143 centimeters below datum as it started getting pretty sloppy also. 
I might spend some effort today to get the rest of the back dirt out of 11 because then we can continue to go down here. Whoa. And 19 is headed down. Oh, so you're past the sand already. Was there anything in there? No, I haven't gotten anything at all. I mean, wow. Pebbles sort of compact dark. A pebble. Pe yeah. Pebble. <laughs> but no, no good rocks or anything? Mm -hmm. Okay. And then we've opened 20. So this is obviously starting much higher up. So it would not surprise me at all to find later kick diagnostics at this level. So we shall see. They got a little biface, which is a pretty... I don't want to insult the biface, but it's a biface. <laughs> and you see no, no real strong lamellae there. So yeah, I bet you you're probably in late archaic land still. So... Shall see. <laughs> okay, we have removed the backfill from Unit 11, which was a what was that? A May 2017 unit. Uh, so that's the floor down there. We now know that there's material below that, so um, we're going to start taking that down and maybe find something good. This seemed like the easiest way to expose kind of a big chunk of this stuff without going through everything that's above it. So. A little bit of a wall collapse here. Just collapsed on its own. It was already cracked. And that's from unit 7 and 10 over there, so that's all back dirt. That wall is still intact. So anyway, that's going. We're going to call unit 19 um, suspended for now. It's getting all the way down into that stuff and has not been finding anything of note. And... Unit 20 is still hovering somewhere, probably in the middle archaic. Tamara, do you always just like to be on your own? What's that? I said, do you always just like to be on your own? I do. Away from the distractions? And... I do. <laughs> <laughs> and they always just let you do that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> now, I like all lizards, but the green ones... I think are especially attractive. This is the, uh, I don't know if it's called the Carolina Andoli or whatever, but they will change color depending on what they're on from green to brown. And when they are trying to attract each other's attention for the purposes of mating or whatever, they will have a throat pouch or something that inflates and it's kind of pink. So he was a brighter green. When he first got on there, let's see if he changes colors. Yeah, I think he's changing to brown. I can still see you. Okay, it is Monday, what, the 15th? Is that the date? 16th? 16th, Monday the 16th, all day today. Uh, probably got a few more days out here, but it's starting to be time to be thinking about the end game. Um, this is unit 18. No, sorry, you know, that's unit 18, that's unit 11. Um, still going down, and they're finding stuff. Nothing spectacular, but broken rock and that sort of thing, right? Is that accurate? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, hard to tell if it was... It didn't look culturally modified, but... They like one in... Biggish pieces? One was a decent size. Yeah, okay. Same material. I don't really know what the material was. Still holding out hope that we'll find one decent tool down there. But... Time is running out. Uh, unit 17, I was just taking some final notes on the profile, and I think I'm ready to capitulate and cover the walls on this one and fill it back in, because realistically, um, we won't be expanding it. We still have gotten really, really lucky with the weather. 
Currently there was a little bit of rain out here, but not much at all, so we haven't had any collapsing problems due to moisture, which is amazing considering how wet it's been the rest of the spring. So, uh, we got unit 20 going up here. Watch me collapse one of these as I'm walking by. So this is almost certainly still up in late archaic or middle archaic land. Um, so if anything, we can finish another level in 11 and keep this going down and uh, your wall starting to crack there. Yeah, I stepped there this morning trying to measure. <laughs> I did that. This is actually probably our farthest we'll unit out. So we'll get a good look at the stratigraphy out here, if nothing else, and hopefully find some diagnostics and see where we are in time mm -hmm. at some point. I'm just guessing late archaic just based on A, the depth, and B, what the sediments look like. So how far are you below your datum there? Uh, 205. Below that? Yeah. Huh. 205? 105. 205? No kidding? Okay, getting up close and personal here with... The ladder out of the way. Oh, it's getting sticky. It's hard to actually get back far enough to see, but... There's your surface. We've got these nice lamellae here, and then those disappear down here in this sand zone which is what contained a few little pieces of angular quartz and that sort of thing in unit 11, and we have kind of duplicated that this time around. Large rocks, both in the previous unit and in this one, were sitting at this boundary between the sand and there. Uh, none of those, you know, have pits or battering or anything that we've seen yet. We'll get them back to the lab and clean them up. Um, but we were still getting material, what was actually one of our better flake-like pieces all the way down into this stuff. Halted this unit because it started to fill up with water. It's pretty mucky now. So I think we're just going to call it because it'll be easier to work over in 11 with a bigger area. Um, there's a rock still in the wall. This piece of flagging tape is marking where there was a uh, piece plotted piece of angular quartz shatter there, right up in that sand, kind of where it's supposed to be. So anyway, I think my plan with this one is now to cover the walls and start to fill it in. Which will be a good way to warm up. I've been hearing owls out here during the day. I think that's the barred owl. Is that who cooks, who cooks for you? Let's see if we'll do it one more time. I want to go and try to find him. Let's turn another one so maybe he'll respond. This is another area of the site that's been chunked out. We've not investigated at all. Plenty of things to do here. Oh, there he goes. Landed in there somewhere. Without being a professional owl spotter, it's going to be really tough for me to see him before he sees me and gets away again. Sounds like a squirrel. I'll tell you what, if I were that squirrel, I'd hide. trying to warn other squirrels there's an owl about. Where is he? Oh, 
Well, it's not a squirrel, it's a, some kind of little wren. Oh well, I did get to see him, but back to work. I'm dirt back in holes. I'm, I use that now, okay, as because it's there that we know where it is. So yeah, it's right there, <laughs> <laughs> and we know that. <laughs> yeah. All right, Josh. Yeah. Jo put the, get out! Uh, out! You're out. Put the holding in. Kidding. On Kidding. Right now. Oh. <laughs> Did I just get fired again? <laughs> again. So we're not quite ready to call it National Geographic yet, but where is it? There's a flake down there somewhere. There it is. I got it. Uh, this is the best piece of cultural material that's come out of this unit so far. There were some, you know, FCR looking things and other angular stuff, but pretty good sized piece of quartz shatter down there. So we're not dead yet. Archaeology in the time of the coronavirus. I'm gonna write a book. Not that it's affecting us. Like. Yeah. And this is, yes, I think when it's foggy, this is a good time for the deal because it's Foggy morning. And, and. All right, so we have had to kind of go a little bit medieval. This is unit 11 that I'm standing in. I'll back up so you can see it. This is unit 18. Uh, we're down in this really soft sand, finally. Nobody believed me, but it, it is there. Uh, beneath this kind of like clay, more compact cap that I thought was a water table when we originally did this unit. So there's no way to kind of do this neatly because the water just keeps on pouring in. It's actually undercutting the walls. So my plan was just get as much of the sand out here as possible quickly so we could screen it, see if there's anything in it so far. Nothing, right? Nope. Nothing. So, this is going to collapse fairly soon, so I might just take a few more shovelfuls, and at least we got a chance to look at it, and then uh, take some ending depths, and oh, see it's collapsing as we speak. Because um, I want to draw that wall there, redo the profile. I go ahead and fill this back in, and we can probably start backfilling this unit today, because we're not going to be able to go much deeper unless we go much, much wider, which we do not have time for that. And I might just have to wait for a drought. But anyway, it's good to get a look at it. There's nothing in it, as far as we know, except apparently water. So if you're looking for water, you got to, you see it's really soft. Um, nothing, no pebbles, no nothing. Which does help to put into perspective what was in the levels above it, which was something. So. Uh, something changed there. So whether we are past the earliest component or not, do not know. But I will take a few more shovelfuls out of here and then get some ending depths and call it. Okay, here's the um, cleaned up final profile of unit 18. You can see the lamellae. You can see that zone of clean sand there, which had artifacts in it. And then the larger rocks sitting at that boundary. Um, there does appear to be a piece of charcoal in the wall right there. So I'm going to collect that. Uh, something to date. This level down here where it stops is where we started getting into the um, transition over to real sand again. And it starts to fill up with water and then it starts to undercut the wall because it's super, super soft. So that's where we're going to stop. So I photograph this. We're going to redraw it. We drew it before, just in case it rained, you know, when it was halted kind of up in here. So we're going to be able to just redraw the whole thing. Took some nice photos. And I think that's going to be it for uh, this, what's turning into a mini block here uh, this time around. The things we learned are that there is indeed material in here. And now we know that there is actually material below it. We were getting flakes and stuff down into this. Um, still no formal tools, bifaces, things like that, but you know, pieces of angular quartz and possible FCR that I don't know how to explain any other way in terms of how they got there other than by humans. 
uh, the sand that we screened below it this has been filled in now because it was collapsing so I protected it and put a bunch of dirt in there so we can get in and out safely um, that sand that we screened in there had nothing in it at least in that part that we sampled this boundary here is still really interesting it's kind of defined by a lightish band um, along in there and it's such a clean abrupt boundary that it almost seems like it was scoured off and then things were redeposited on top of it so you know maybe there was a previous landform that was here and then something came and washed it away and then started to dump more sand on it uh, who knows maybe that explains why you know the whole water table or the the draining change because we get back into sand with lamellae underneath it which you can't see here but we saw in that backhoe trench um, you know with the last glacial maximum age down at the bottom so it's possible that like the level of water has changed the hydrology has changed with shifts in the broad rivers course or so there's, there's a complicated story to be told here and I cannot tell it yet what I can tell you is that there is material down here we still have not nailed down how old it is whether it's the oldest so on and so forth, uh, but we learned a little bit, not as much as I hoped, that's the way it goes. So I'm going to collect this tiny little fleck of charcoal there, and we're going to draw it and fill it back in. Move on. My act of kindness this morning was turning around and picking up this tiny little turtle from the middle of the road. I think he was headed over there, so I'm going to put him over here in the grass and hope that that's what he wanted. Very cool little dude. Alright, so it's Thursday the 19th. March 19th. That's my dad's birthday. Happy birthday, Dad. Uh, kind of at the end here, so we're just, this is the filling in of 18 and 11. So that's getting there, then we'll put all the stuff away. Tamara is drawing the west wall profile of unit 20, which is, uh, looks bottomless from here, but apparently she's standing on something, so. There we go. So we should finish up today in pretty good time. I can take all the paperwork and artifacts back, drop off stuff at the lab, and then as we are all isolating at home, uh, perhaps start to work on writing it up. Just need to figure out how to get everything washed. I'm not sure when I'm going to be allowed to have employees come in again. Who knows? Okay, here we are down in Unit 20. Give a quick up below surface here just so we can see kind of where we are. Alright, so there's the ground surface. This is a place that was kind of scraped out a little bit. You can see the perhaps the original contour over there. Tractor shed built. This is the original contour up there. So you've got another uh, uh, ballpark. Whoops, that's too. Uh, meter 30 or so um, from the original ground surface. So add 1.3 to 1.8 and you're looking at 2.1 meters down. Uh, so this profile helps us join together what we know from the wall versus what we know from the deep units because it kind of starts where it was still up in the wall and it goes down to what's in the deep units so we can see them all at once. Um, I can't see it, but the gray zone here, which we have pretty conclusively, at least to my satisfaction, dated to Middle Archaic Guilford times, is there. Uh, it's gray. She was finding a lot of FCR and, and other stuff up here. There's a couple pieces still in the wall. Uh, there was a big broken cobble there, so that's going to be late archaic in age. Down below, really. Um, Pull out nothing. I think these last several layers were sterile. So, our sand layer that had artifacts in it, visible there at the bottom, 
um, but nothing in it here, which, while disappointing to not find an early archaic component, actually tells you something, at least it tells me something, that the stuff that we were finding over in Unit 18 and 11 over there, which uh, I can't think of a kind of non-human agency um, explanation for, the fact that it's not here kind of adds to the, the strength of that interpretation, I think, because if those things were just part of a natural accumulation, then they would be everywhere where those same strata are, and they are not here. So it might be that we have these, you know, very ephemeral earlier occupations, and we're just catching the end of one or the edge of one over there. Uh, or, you know, maybe that's kind of as thick as it gets, and we just happen to up into one or two. Um, who knows? But she has drawn this wall, so I'm just going to take a few notes. See if there's any little flecks of charcoal that I could get out of these strata here, and maybe have her draw another wall. So there you go. I can still see over the edge, but it's pretty deep. Very skillfully done. It's hard to get out of, especially as you get older. But I'm tall, so there you go. Okay, we are. All filled back in here and just putting away a few things. That's where unit 20 was. These guys are all done. Uh, so now my next challenge is to figure out what to do with field school. I think it's possible that we could get uh, a little bit of the last of the semester in, but I'm not optimistic. I think, if anything, the more likely scenario at this point is that we're going to go on complete lockdown. So I'm happy to have this one taken care of. I don't worry about that as the situation develops. So I'm going to take stuff back to my lab, electronics, and uh, I'll take the data and the forms and everything home with me and maybe be able to start writing it up or whatever. Butterflies and dragonflies are out. It's hot. Feels like spring.